Now the anchoring feature allows you to take a label or a control or both and anchor it to a part of the form, either the upper left hand corner or bottom right or one of the corners. So let's say that I create a button right here instead and I want that button to be anchored to the bottom right even though I create it here in design view right next to the quantity uh, text box field. When I switch it to form view it will be anchored or display in the lower right hand corner of my form view here. That way I can still display things that aren't of importance or I don't want next to the main area of data entry but yet I still want available but as far removed from it as possible without disappearing. That's where the anchoring comes in because if I go ahead and restore it with the anchor feature applied to it and I come in and I resize my window it'll move in and out. It will try to apply to the lower bottom right hand corner or any of these corners that I anchor it to no matter how I resize the form. So let me go ahead and maximize it and right click in a blank area go to the design view now for the sake of this training video to show you how anchoring works I think the best thing to do is instead of anchoring one of these uh, fields like the uh, text box field and its label I mean it wouldn't make sense to anchor it so it always displays in the lower bottom right hand corner or one of the corners I'll go ahead and create a button here it's a little bit advanced for what we covered so far but bear with me and it should make sense and this button when they click on it is going to close the form so to do that I'm going to come up here on the design tab in the controls group and click on there it is button when I click on it and I come down here notice how my pointer has a plus sign and the little icon of the button wherever I click it is going to dump it As soon as I click there the wizard opens up and says okay what do you want this button to do well I would like it to do a form operation and within the form operation the action is is to close the form when somebody clicks on it click next and then I can either have the default picture or choose one of my own if I have an icon that looks you can see in the sample it looks like a door closing or I can just use the text select text and you know you can leave it the default close form or you know just close that's fine too click next and we'll say it's my close B for close button click finish now that I have it here when I go ahead and I right click and I view the form you see where it is right here it's too close to all the other fields. I mean, it's not something that typically people will do when they have a lot of data to enter in. I don't need to see this. Instead, I can still make it visible, but anchor it to the bottom right hand corner. And so when they resize it, which I'll show you in just a second, it'll still be visible no matter what the size of the form is. Well, except in one instance, but I'll show you that in just a second. So let's go ahead and right click to the design view, select the uh, control, then come up here on the arrange tab, go to the position group, click on anchoring. And then it says, okay, where do you want to stick this guy? Do you want to anchor him in the bottom right of the form? So it doesn't matter how they resize the form, it'll always be in the bottom right. Yeah, select it. And let's take it for a test drive. Go ahead and right click, go to form view. Wow, there it is, cool. So if I go ahead and I restore it down, it still stays within the form view and I don't have to scroll in the lower right hand corner. So the button's still available to me no matter how I resize the window, except let me go ahead and right click and go back to the design view. If my grid in the detail section, I click and drag it out like this and make it wider and don't fit it snugly around the uh, field that's being anchored. So when I right click and go to the form view, it's not anchoring in the bottom right hand corner, is it? So you want to make sure that that grid is snug and tight. Right click, design view, click and drag. The bottom, hover over the uh, right hand side and then click and drag and bring it in. And then right click, form view. Fabulous. Well, let's see if the button works. Do I want to save changes to this uh, form, including the button with its bottom right hand anchor applied to it? Yes. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.